Hi everyone, welcome to today's demonstration where I'll be showing you how you can use CrowdStrike, Elasticsearch, Okta, and Recorded Future to prioritize and respond to initial access threats. This is an event inside D3. It was originally detected by Elasticsearch and ingested into the platform. The raw data is available under event log. However, we always extract key fields and normalize them to D3 system fields on the left. The data we've extracted includes the host name and IP, the source IP address, the location of the request, the tactics techniques, and the target username. Before we proceed to the investigation, every event is processed through an event playbook as soon as it's ingested into D3. In this instance, we can see the workflow that's been executed. Upon ingestion, we look to see if the login attempt was successful. If it is, we'll check to see if the location is expected or not. If not, we'll update the severity to critical. In this case, the login attempt failed, so we look to see if the target user is legitimate or not. We do that by pulling a list of users from Okta and running a few conditional tasks here. We look to see if this is an expected location. In this case, it's false. As you remember, the location of this request was from Ukraine. Since this is, does not match with where this user should be located, we increase the severity to high and we tag it as initial access valid accounts. Now back to the event. We'll take a look and we can see that an automation rule has automatically escalated this event into an incident. Within the incident overview, we can see some metadata on the top, including what stage the playbook is at, and then also the event overview data that we were reviewing earlier. By scrolling down, we can see information from our different tools, including user groups obtained from Okta, host details obtained from CrowdStrike, and the IP reputation obtained from Recorded Future. Let's go up to the incident playbook and take a look at what's happened. The first stage of this playbook is data enrichment. So we're getting device information from CrowdStrike, IP reputation information from recorded feature, and user groups from Okta. If we will ever want to look into the results from a task, we can come in, we can see the command that's being used, the input, and then also the output data. That data is parsed and presented to us in the incident overview. Then the response stage begins. Here we look to see if this external IP is found in our IOC database. In this case, it has already been seen. If not, this would be tagged false and we would add it as a detection parameter inside CrowdStrike. We also look to see if the user is part of an administrative group. In this case, they are. So the analyst working the shift has been notified. Here in the email, I can see that uh, incident-26 requires my attention. I can click on the link and be taken right back to the incident overview. Back in the playbook, the light bulb indicates that there's a manual task that needs to be executed. Here, this will ask which message, which uh, response actions we want to take. The options are block IP, reset user password, and deactivate user. Since the authentication attempt failed, I won't deactivate the user. Uh, and uh, the IP address were I don't think that the severity for this alert is high enough in order to block it. However, we will request that the user reset their password. So I'll hit done here. My response is going to be parsed into individual requests and push through this conditional task here where the appropriate response command will be executed. Here we can see that the user password has been reset and the notification email sent to them. Finally, we'll generate an incident report automatically and email it to our management team. This report here can be seen in the results tab. If we download it, and we have a custom incident report, including the event details and the actions that have been taken on this device. Back in the event overview, we can summarize our investigation. So initially when the alert was ingested, it was tagged as a high severity and initial access threat. Once it was escalated into an incident, we gathered additional information from CrowdStrike, Okta, and Recorded Feature. Since this 
user is an administrator. Uh, we were sent an email to ask what kind of remediation actions we wanted to take. Since the logon attempt failed, we decided to reset the user password and avoid the other two. Once that was done, we generated the automatic incident report and we were emailed that to both ourselves and the management team. Finally, we can close the incident and mark that uh, user password reset, external IP already added to IOC database in CrowdStrike. And we can close the in incident and move on. Now this whole workflow runs automatically in the background 24 seven. So for anyone who's currently runs a SOC team that is working regular eight hour shifts by implementing a workflow like this, they can have these actions be taken in the background 24 seven. Thank you for watching the demonstration on how you can use CrowdStrike, Okta, Recorder Feature, and Elastic to prioritize and respond to initial access threats from Elasticsearch.